we're going to look at a delete query. A delete query, as its name suggests, allows you to delete records in a table based on certain criteria that you can choose. As always, have a good look at your data so you know what you are working with. I've got the customer details table here. If we open it, we can see we've got a list of customers, their addresses, the company name, and where they live. Now, the organisation that we work for has decided to close the shop in Durham, so therefore we can delete all the customers who live in Durham. Now, it's quite easy when all you've got is 10 records to go to each record and delete that particular record. But instead of 10 customers, if you had 10,000, then obviously manually deleting the record would not be the best method to use. So let's see if we can delete all the customers in Durham without having to do it manually. And of course, the beauty about creating a query to do this is the query will be there for you to use over and over again. And you could modify the query if needs be to delete customers in a different place. So we're going to use a query. We select the query object and create a query in design view. We add in the tables we want to work with. And as always, you can work with more than one table just by adding them. In this instance, we just need the one table, the customer details table. Use your preferred method to add in the fields that you want to work with. Usually just add in enough to make it easy to see what it is you're trying to do. So I'm going to put in the customer's surname, the company they work for, the county, because that's what I'm going to build my criteria on, and have a look and see what that's looking like. Yes, it's very easy to see there my customers and the county that they live in. Switch back to design view. OK, so we've got a simple select query here. Let's convert this to a delete query. And we do that by using the query type drop down menu and choose delete query. Hope you notice that in the grid area there, it suddenly changed. We've now got a delete row. Now we could just run the query now and it would delete every record in the table. Clearly a dangerous situation. So whenever you do click the run button, you do get a warning just to make sure. But what we need to do is filter this down using a criteria for just the people who live in Durham. So in the county field, in the criteria row, we're going to put Durham. That will filter for just the customers that live in Durham. We can check that, always check before running your query until you've got it perfect, and then you can use it over and over again without fear. So we'll have a look at data sheet view, and yes, you can see there it's filtered out for just the companies that live in Durham. Switch back to Datasheet View. At this stage, once you know that everything is working fine, you could save your query. Always use a sensible name for your object in a database. And to make this work, you could either click the Run button or you could double click in the query section the name of the query that you want to run. So double click in this query here actually runs the query as it's meant to be run. So we're not seeing the data, it's just running the delete query. Give you a warning, you say yes. Tells you how many records it's going to delete. Are you happy? Yes, we are. That's it, the query's been used now. So if we go back to the table, we should be able to see in the customer details table that there are no longer any customers who live in Durham. 
So that's a delete query created by creating a query in the normal fashion, a normal select query, choosing the table you want to work with, adding in your fields, adding in a criteria, and then converting it to a delete query. There, delete queries.